Hello, I'm Armin Budish. Welcome to Golden Opportunities. Today, the crops are ripe for picking. We'll celebrate with a delicious dish. Want to get in better shape? We have a plan of action. Plus, we'll make ourselves at home on a tour of a just reopened treasure. And don't miss out on new Medicare benefits to keep you healthy and a little more wealthy. It's time to get GOing, so pull up a chair and join us at our kitchen table for golden opportunities. When is less more? When does the minimum give you the maximum? Dentist Steve Marsh says the answer for your smile lies in the advances of a special kind of material, and he's here to give us all the information in nothing flat. Thanks for joining us, Steve. My pleasure, Armin. So, Steve, what are we talking about? What kind of special material? Well, what's happened in dentistry is, you know, we've always used porcelains, for example, for crowns, but there used to be a metal base. Well, now the porcelains can be made stronger and thinner and much more beautiful. So, that's what's happening. We're doing these minimal prep veneers. Those are porcelain coverings that go over the, t the tooth, almost like Formica goes over a table but they're now thinner, more beautiful, and stronger than ever. What changed? What, what made this possible? Well, uh, it's actually the changes in the porcelain material itself. It's now three to four times stronger than it ever was. There was a laboratory in California that started these things, branding of lumineers, which were very thin contact lens I veneers. saw lumineer on uh, Beauty and the Beast. That was Lumiere. Oh, oh, I knew it was something like <laughs> I that. I remember. But this is a porcelain <laughs> veneer. Okay. And um, it's very thin, again, much thinner than we could ever make them. That re restores much more, or keeps more tooth structure than we've ever been able to do. Great. They're also polishable and really prettier than they ever were. Do they look different in any way from the old... Veneers? Yeah, you know, they look different in that the shades have changed, the colors have changed. In the old days, old days could be five or ten years ago, we only had these colors of porcelain. Now that's a lot of porcelain colors, but now what's happened is we've come up with these bleaching shades. Wow, look at and, the difference. And you know, people, people today want whiter teeth, brighter than ever. They're able to bleach some teeth and maybe not others. So this is where we're able to use porcelain. What if you already have the old types in there? in your mouth. Well, if the old veneers are in and they're good, I started doing them 25 years ago. If they're working successfully, I suggest people keep them. I've had people come to me though and they want the new brighter shades and we're able to re uh, take those off quite easily actually and put on new veneers. And you, uh, to illustrate, can you, did you bring a picture? Yeah, we did. And, and How just did I recent. know? Huh? How did <laughs> yeah. I know? In the last month, uh, a patient came to me and what was interesting was he had had those done 20 to 25 years ago. He's a retired engineer. And actually what brought him in was his wife. His wife looked him at him across the table. She knew things could be done differently. Actually, a Golden Opportunities viewer. And that's Great. really how she became educated. We took off those old veneers and in uh, two appointments put on these beautiful new veneers. His wife said uh, he like, looks 10 years younger and enjoys uh, looking across the table at him. What's this? This is another case with uh, veneers. Now, her smile wasn't too bad. She didn't like the space between her front two teeth there. Also, proportionately, they didn't uh, look too good. And so she ended up coming in, and, and we did 10 porcelain veneers. These new veneers, as, as we talked about, they're very thin. So we were able to keep almost the entire tooth, uh, just a little reshaping Armin, and gave her that beautiful smile, uh, and in a very conservative way, in just two appointments again. Well, it also happens with kids, and I know our uh, audience may be more mature, but they may, they may have grandchildren, and this was a young woman who was about 16. She had had old bonding put over her front teeth, and you can see proportionally they weren't good, and it looked pretty artificial. She had hypocalcification. Those are those white spots, and you can still see that on her lower teeth. Yeah. Um, actually, her dentist sent her over to me, and we uh, took off the bonding, we raised the gum line, and again, she had real nice teeth underneath. We wanted to maintain them, and we did uh, eight porcelain veneers. And uh, she's now modeling, actually. Wow. And this is a woman who's actually a very good friend of ours. And she said to me at one point, Steve, when you get to those veneers that are real thin, can we do that? And so a couple of years ago, she came in, did minimal reshaping. And right at the time of, that we put them in, the picture is the after picture, we put on 10 porcelain veneers. And she has a much more beautiful smile, rounded. And again, uh, Armand, very little tooth reduction and actually no anesthetic. 
And that's, you know, one of the great things about these veneers in most cases is we can do it with no anesthetic. You come in and you leave and... No pain, too. No pain, too. Sounds good. Thank you, Steve. Good You're information. Welcome. Thanks. All right. These new porcelain veneers are thin and strong, just like me. <laughs> to find out more, give Steve Marsh a call. His number's up next. See what Dr. Stephen Marsh can do for your smile by calling 440-461-1003 or visit www.clevelandsmiles.com. Next, fresh to your table 